So here's an introduction to Rhinoceros and also I'm going to show you how to build a castle. So first of all you just want to get a sense of where the space is. So up here we have the menu bar. All these menus can be pulled down. There's all your menu commands to open a file, save a file, exit the program. Down here are our, this is our, sorry, this is the command line. You can type in commands here. It's also good to look at this whenever a command is going on because sometimes it'll be asking you for extra information. Here's our tabs. You can see most of these we won't use. We'll stick with the standard tab. If you ever find this doesn't look like this, click on the word standard here. These are a bunch of icons. These are just repeats of commands that are up from this menu. Okay. So for example, this is polyline. I can also get that command from here. Down here, you'll notice if you don't see this, these check boxes, click right here where it says O snap and that will bring those up. So this is object snap, just like we had in Rhinoceros. Make sure endpoint is checked off. It's also useful to have grid snap turned on for this one. Ortho should be off. You can see that when something is bold, it's on. When it's not bold, it's off. Over here we've got some tabs, properties, layers, display. You might not see this up here. Probably not. This is other information about the things that we're doing. I'm just going to grab this window and I'm going to drag that over there because I don't really need this. It gives you a little extra real estate. So here we're looking at four views of the same thing. So I'm going to click on this and I've just selected that sphere. This is the top view. So if I'm looking down from the top, this is the front view. So if I'm looking from this direction, this is the right side view if I'm looking from this direction. Now you'll also notice that these are here. They are drawn in what's called wireframe, whereas over here these are drawn in what are called rendered mode. And to change that I can right click on this word right here. You can see there is rendered. If I turn that to wireframe, there it is right there. So Using the mouse, if I use the scroll button, that will allow me to zoom in and out. Okay. If I use the right mouse button, that will allow me to pan. But if my mouse is up in the perspective viewport, if I click on the right mouse button, it's going to rotate my view around. So this just helps to move around and see all my objects here. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to start I'm going to start creating a castle. I'm going to build these like building blocks. So to do that first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to make a copy of some rows of blocks. So I'm going to uh, go up here to the transform menu select copy. Now my command says select object to copy. Okay. I'm going to click on that and it says press enter when done. Okay, I pressed enter. Now it's asking me point to copy from. Okay, that means where do I want to grab this? Do I want to grab it on a corner or in the middle? I'm going to grab it on this corner right here. So you notice my mouse is hovering over here. When I click on that, I have grabbed it from that corner and now I can move that block around. But I want to move that block specifically so that it's right next to this block. So you notice there's two things happening. I've got grid snap on, which means I can only move it a certain amount. And I'm also going to snap, click, and I have locked that block in place. I'm going to move it over here. Okay. And I can rotate my view around. And there we go. So I made a row of blocks. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to copy this one to there. And you can see how once I start copying, I can just keep on copying. Okay, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I want to make a ten by ten by ten grid. So I have my ten blocks right here. Now I'm going to start copying. I'm going to make another row, but I don't want to copy them one at a time. So what I'm going to do is this. Uh, I can go into a perspective window. If I double click on the word perspective, that brings it up full size. Double click again, it brings it back. Now I'm in the top viewport. I want to select this entire row of blocks. I'm going to drag a window around it. And I select that entire row of blocks. And now I'm going to do this. Transform, copy. Now I'm going to grab this entire row. I'm going to click on this corner point right here. And I'm going to go making sure I snap to this corner point. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see which corner point exactly you're snapping to. Okay, there we go right there. Also helps, I'm going to turn off everything but end point. That life makes my life a little easier. There we go. Zoom out a bit. Okay, rotate my view. And I'm going to pan this view down. So I can see, whoops, okay, I'll get that one in a second. Made a little bit of a gap there. Okay, so I'm going to continue until I have 10 high. Now I missed it a bit, so I'm just going to go back and select those blocks. I'm going to move this time from there to there. Okay, so now I've got a wall of blocks. Now I can transform. I can copy that wall. And maybe I'll go over here in perspective. Oh, I've grabbed a corner point on the wall there. That's not where I wanted to grab it because that moved. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's not too bad. Also, if I got something selected, I don't even have to hit move. I could just drag it around. If I want to, to make another wall, if I want to make a sideways wall, I can select this entire block. I can go transform and rotate. Now, rotating things usually just makes them move. Uh, if I go up here, you notice it says center of rotation, copy equals no. I want to click on that so it copy equals yes. I do want to copy that. So my center of rotation is going to be right here. And I'm going to rotate by 90 degrees. And there's my wall. Now it went the wrong way, but that's okay. I can always move the wall somewhere. So once you're done with that, you're going to you can start deleting blocks for doorways or for example if you want a little parapet you can cut out some blocks we can add we can uh, we're going to use these for decorations so I can stack these up. I'm going to snap to center here. So I'm going to grab it from the center and I'm going to start stacking them up. Now to snap to center you actually have to go to the edge of the circle and that will snap to center. I'm looking underneath my object now. And I could stack them. There we go. I'll so I've made a stack of four cylinders. Now I can select that stack. And I'm going to copy that up the top here. And I'll put it up here on this point right here. There we go. And then because I've got grid snap on, I can move that to the center there. There we go. So I've made a column on top. So you can just continue on building like this until you've got something that resembles a castle. I'm not working towards an actual castle, just showing you some of the things you can do. Okay, so what we want is a castle that is 10 blocks long 
by 10 blocks wide by 10 blocks high, and you can have at least 10 each of these for decoration.